can't find a pen? But how about a pen that captures everything you write and then syncs it with a desktop or emails it through your cell phone, something like that? I don't know. This is so James Bond stuff. Dave Matthews, the gadget guy, is with us once again. I thought you were into computers. Why are we talking pens today? Well, pens is you, you have to go into meetings, you have to write, and it's a little awkward to bring a laptop and set up your whole machine and then start clickety-clicking away. So right. I'm going to show you some smart pens. First one's by Seiko. It's called the Ink Link. And it's about a $99 pen. Wow. And it works in conjunction with this little clippy piece. And this clippy piece That's clips... That's the official name <laughs> for yeah. it? That's what I call it. It clips onto a notepad. And then it uses ultrasonic. As you write on the paper with a pen, it sends the signal to the clip and then sent, captures all of the text that you write. Hmm. What's nice about this is you can use any kind of piece of paper that you want. You can uh, use a legal pad. You can uh, also connect it to a PDA and it'll capture information either wow. to a laptop or a PDA. Bad news is you still have to have some sort of device to capture the text. You have to have your laptop there, right. you know, sitting idle beside you, or you have to have your PDA there. So up comes a company called Anoto, and Anoto has created this pen, and it's like my first pen. It's kind of awkward, yeah. a little large here. If you like writing with cigars, this is the one to write with. This one actually has a camera in the tip of it, though, and right next to the writing surface, there's a camera and a little light, and it uses special paper. And this paper, and we have post-it notes here, has dots on it. And as you write, the camera reads the little dots inside ah. of the paper. And that's how it, it doesn't necessarily see what you're writing, right. it just notices this fine dot pattern. It connects the dots, Dave. Exactly. That's what it does. Now what's nice about this pen is you don't need a computing device beside it. Obviously it's large enough that it can store. Yeah, is there about, a computer inside? Yeah, basically there is. There, Intel inside. Yeah. It stores about 40 pages of text. It has a rechargeable battery inside of it and it either syncs with a cradle that mm -hmm. you can connect to your PC or it connects to uh, Bluetooth and if you have one of the new Bluetooth cellular phones mm -hmm. it'll automatically send what you write into the uh, machine. Now because you have to use this special paper I'm not too much of a big fan of this pen. The pen by the way, is $199. Oh. So you go from a $100 pen to a $200 pen, and I don't see the little Mont Blanc uh, symbol on it. So that no, <laughs> not a style, it but it's a good conversation starter. Though. That's true. But the paper, you'll need to buy notebooks, you'll need to buy everything that has this digital uh, dot matrix pattern on it yeah. in order to use these pens. Are they this, expensive too? Yeah, this notebook alone is $10. Whoa. So if think about it, if Mead quits making this, right now you can get it from Cambridge, you can get it from 3M, Mead, they all make them, but when this uh, technology is dead and gone, you're stuck. So with the with the uh, so you see good things ahead for it. Well, who knows with yeah. this in this market? Sorry, yeah, you're right. And then we Very have the street. Super GT Pen 2000, and this one will send anything you write to a television set within 100. Okay, that's the bad yeah. April Fool's joke. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> I saw the Vic writing on there. Not even I am that stupid. Well, it could be debated. So, um, well, the pens that the, the what I like about this ink link is I just take it and I snap it right onto a folder and it's as easy as that. No special paper, no special hardware. And if you look at the screen yeah, here, we've got some from? examples of it. Uh, we've got uh, Tech Talk back on TXCN, right. email your questions too. And Dave was here, we did a little Kilroy piece. Yeah, that's pretty good. Now with the Anoto pen, you can actually send emails out. At the, at the bottom of the page, there's a little checkbox, whether you want it to go into Word or whether you want it to be an email. And just by checking the little box, it'll encapsulate this up. And basically, instead of doing optical character recognition where it, where it actually reads this text, it takes it as a picture or a snapshot mm -hmm. and lets you email that snapshot to your friends. So we're not quite to... Uh, Can you, you can't do any editing on that, though, right? You can't. Once it's written, it's, it's done there. The Anoto pen does let you go back in time, though. You can virtually erase. Because there's a clock inside of the pen, you can backstep. And if you wrote something bad about your producer Man. or boss, well. you can uh, back up in time. <laughs> I'm going to stay hired here. Thank you, Dave. Thank you for the clever April Fool's joke.